Today I'm going to talk to you about using XMind. It's a mind mapping software that I absolutely love and um, I show a lot of my uh, clients on how to use this, on how to manage their life, their memory, uh, their learning studies, everything. And I, I think it's a fantastic uh, piece of uh, software. So I just want to show you how to use it, just the very basics of it. Um, and uh, you can use it for whatever you want to be able to do, uh, whether it's to learn something, whether it's to organize um, your life, whether it's to just do a simple to-do list. Uh, you can do it with this piece of software. So let's take a look. Um, when you first uh, download XMind, uh, you'll be presented with um, this little screen. It says New Blank Mind Map. Now what you can do is if you click on that, that'll create a what's called a central topic. Now you can put your any topic that you want in here that you're going to do a mind map on. So let's say we're going to do a mind map on memory. Right? I double click inside and it allows me to type in there. So I press enter and now I've got memory as my central topic. Now if I press another enter, that's going to give me a, another topic uh, in there. If I press enter again, another topic, enter again, another topic. So I just keep getting lots of topics. Now, if I want subtopics in there, I can just click on one of the branches, right, and then press tab. And if I want to move forward from that as well, press tab again. So tab moves forward, enter goes down. So if I press enter now, it creates subtopics under this subtopic one. So it's a nice little uh, structural form of organizing information. So let's say we've got a topic on memory. The first thing I want to talk about maybe is some, you know, visualization. Right, so I enter that in. Um, another topic I might talk about techniques. And then in another topic I might uh, talk about practice, how to practice memory. So I've got those three branches. Now under visualization, uh, I can have the many ways of visualizing for memory. Uh, one of the strategies I use off Tony Buzan's uh, Use Your Memory book is called Smash and Scope. Very powerful memory principle. Um, techniques, you can have things like method of loci, or some people like calling it memory palace. You can have linking, you can have number rhyme, and so on. Now, I don't expect you to know all this. This is just purely just how to use mind mapping and how to structure content uh, in its, uh, I guess, uh, organized form, right? How to practice, how you're going to do it, uh, and what day, and so forth. So you can fill all these out as well by pressing enter and double-clicking inside. So you might want to practice in the mornings, right? Mornings, I'm going to practice, I'm going to do 10 minutes, so 20, 10 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes of practice, uh, and I'm going to do 10 minutes of practice just remembering names. How am I going to remember names? Uh, I might just jump on Facebook, right, and just look at people's names. Right? Go through a list of names and just visualize them uh, or connect them, make word associations and so forth. So the very basic nature of mind mapping is you have a central topic, you create subtopics from it, and then from the subtopics, you can drill down deeper as well just by pressing tab to move forward and enter to move down. So hopefully uh, that gives you a basic idea of mind mapping. Um, I, I will put up some more videos, uh, more specific applications on mind mapping. But for now, um, let's just leave it at that and hopefully you get the basic gist of it. Cheers.